So Xbox Game Pass is not only dropping amazing games the rest of April and May, but we are getting six brand new day one titles and completely new Xbox Game Pass core titles in what is set to be some of the best Xbox Game Pass drops all year. And finally, we have some huge rumors for Call of Duty fans. I'm Sonny, your host here at Xbox Central, and we start off with something that personally I'm not typically a fan of, and that's tower defense games. But guys, Orcs Must Die 3 is by far one of the best that exists in the genre, and it truly highlights lights how insanely fun it can be. Personally, I've spent dozens of hours playing this and the battles you go through are intense. And in this game, your job is to take out all these orcs before they breach your stronghold. And before each wave, you actually set up these deadly traps to stop them and you completely control this aspect. And now as they start coming, you start taking them out yourself, mixed with an array of attacks from your weapons, plus setting these traps up to yourself right as they're coming in live right there. The gameplay is truly really fast paced and just a ton ton of fun not only that orcs must die 3 brings out like these insane war scenarios where the scale of the fights get really huge as these orcs try to breach castles and you're trying to stop them as i said it's crazy fun i think this is the best tower defense game i've ever played and now the fact that it's on game pass is awesome this comes out april 17th on consoles and pc and what seems like xbox is dropping some awesome sports games we are now getting ea sports nhl 24 and i don't know if anyone watching this will probably Probably be as hyped as I am for this. It has been a long time since I've gotten to jump into a hockey game and it looks like we're getting the very best. Now NHL comes with modes that we tend to love in these sports games. There is a career mode called be a pro. There is the franchise mode. There's the head to head online. But one really cool aspect is that there's cross play. So if you actually have friends on PlayStation, you can actually go game with them. This is truly a boon for sports games on Xbox Game Pass. I'm personally a little bit of a hockey fan, so I'm really here for this game. NHL 24 lands on console on April 18th. Have a Nice Death is an epic 2D action roguelike game with a dark comedy twist. Now in this game you play as Death himself who's also the CEO of Death Incorporated Company and your goal in this game is to restore order to the afterlife which has been thrown into total chaos by your unruly and overworked employees. To do that you have to engage in these fast paced hack and slash battles against your enemies through increasingly challenging procedurally generated levels and this game keeps it really like fresh with each player playthrough offering a completely unique experience. Have a Nice Death offers a unique blend of action, roguelike elements, and dark humor, making it a great option for fans of the roguelike genre. Have a Nice Death lands on console, cloud, and PC on April 30th. So a game that looks pretty awesome is Harold Halibut. This is a new day one game pass release, and it's a unique narrative-driven adventure where you find yourself stuck inside a submerged spaceship on an alien planet with nowhere to go. So what do you do? Well, as the lab assistant, your job in the game is to help your super supervisor fix the ship and find a way out of these deep waters and hopefully the planet as well. Meanwhile, there's a ton of things to do in this game. There's puzzles to solve, there's hidden places to explore, there's secrets to uncover, and there's a quirky cast of characters to meet along the way. Speaking of which, the characters you meet in the game each have their own little stories to share and problems that you can help with. And I really do dig the art style of this game. It's kind of like a stop motion video where you're kind of directing the story as you go. This one is available on Game Pass on April 16th. So the the game A Uden Chronicles 100 Heroes is a classic RPG, but it has a modern twist. In this game, you get to pick from a massive roster of 100 uniquely skilled heroes tasked to save the world from the evil forces of darkness, and you will be fighting intense tactical turn-based battles against a variety of challenging enemies and powerful bosses in order to really progress through the game. But that's not all you're doing. Between the battles, you'll have a chance to explore the game's vast and stunningly gorgeous pixel world filled with these quirky characters, intriguing mysteries, and brand storylines and I think it's a great choice for someone like me and maybe yourself who enjoys a good RPG adventure with some awesome pixel art visuals and personally I'm a big fan. A Uden Chronicle 100 Heroes is set to drop on Game Pass for console and PC on April 23rd. If you're looking for a Souls-like game to help kind of ease your way into this hardcore genre especially if you've never really dived into it you gotta give another Crab's Treasure a shot. It's a more light-hearted Souls-like adventure game where you play as this little cute hermit crab who has lost his shell and he really wants it back but the road to recovery is hard and filled to the brim with hostile sea creatures each with their own strengths and weaknesses another crab's treasure offers a great mix of exploration and combat where you get to travel around this vast and versatile ocean and you'll discover a ton of unique places and you'll meet strange characters and of course you'll be engaging in these intense souls like battles that really keep you at the edge as you try to dodge parry attack your enemies also all with this cool little 
parkour style system. And if you're a total beginner, the game even has this awesome mode that allows you to grab a gun and just kind of shoot your way out of challenging battles if that's kind of what you want to do. Another Crab's Treasure joins Game Pass on April 25th for consoles and PC. So I've had my eyes on the game Manor Lords for quite some time, and I'm really excited to see it's closing in on its release on Game Pass, and this is a new day one game. This is a medieval strategy game that combines the best of world building, management strategy, and the action genres to create a completely unique and super in-depth game. You play as this powerful lord who takes it upon himself to build a new settlement and grow it into a thriving kingdom. And to achieve this, you gotta do a ton of stuff, from gathering and managing resources to building strong infrastructure for your people, and of course empowering them to fend off against rival settlements in large-scale tactical battles. And speaking of the battles, Manor Lords promises to offer historically accurate and realistic warfare, which makes the game all that much more immersive and engaging. I'm sure this game is going to keep players like myself and tons of you guys hooked, especially when it comes out this April 26 on Game Pass. So we have a brand new game, another day one release coming on Game Pass called Haunty. It's a pretty unique exploration adventure game where you play it as a friendly ghost, trying to uncover the secrets of a mysterious realm called Eternity. Now Haunty offers a great mix of exploration, puzzles, and lightweight action. Think of it kind of like a mix of action and relaxation with this cool shooting mechanic at a chill pace that kind of lets you soak in this strikingly unique atmosphere. Using your ghost powers in this game though, you will be solving puzzles by manipulating other characters and the environment, battling with enemies with your skills and weapons, and exploring the stunning handcrafted world all around you. It's a great option for indie fans who love puzzles and innovation. Haunty arrives on Game Pass on May 23rd as a day one Game Pass release on console and PC. And finally, towards the end of May, we get an exclusive day one Game Pass title and one of the biggest games dropping this year on Xbox in Senua's Saga Hellblade 2. And this is one of my personal most anticipated titles of the year. I personally was a huge fan of the first game, which immediately, guys, if you haven't played it, literally go out there and play it. It is not a long game as well. The number two, though, is a direct sequel that continues Senua's journey through this brutal world of this Viking Iceland. And you'll be diving deeper into her backstory and psyche, as well as the North mythology and history. Hellblade 2 promises to take the already intense gameplay experience to the next level with a new, more dynamic fighting system, giving combat a more realistic touch while enhancing the visuals to make everything that much more immersive. It really tries not to stray too far away from the original gameplay, so most of the gameplay mechanics remain the same, including the puzzles and the game's iconic sound design. But visually, this has been one of the best franchises to exist. The game literally feels like you're in a movie and you're controlling it. It's just incredible. And Hellblade 2 brings more of that dynamic touch. This joins Game Pass on May 21st for both consoles and PC. So guys, we have a really awesome rumor. This is a really exciting one. It's being pretty much reported by multiple outlets, and I do feel like it does come from a reputable source that Xbox is planning to announce a bunch of Call of Duty games for Game Pass, including many classics like World at War, the OG Modern Warfare 2, Black Ops 2, and quite possibly the upcoming Call of Duty Gulf War title. Of course, that is you know, a rumor, but it does totally make sense now that Microsoft owns the Call of Duty franchise alongside a bunch of other popular IPs like Diablo and Overwatch from Activision Blizzard. And while we don't have a specific reveal window for this yet, I kind of think the upcoming Xbox showcase in June might just be it. And I remind you guys that showcase is actually just two months away. So we might have a big host of COD games releasing and coming soon on Game Pass. And I got to say, I'm pretty excited. Let me know if you guys are excited in the comments. Now, in another random game set of Game Pass news, State of the K3 was actually teased these past few weeks, as in we're about to see a trailer or an announcement at this upcoming Xbox showcase, and hopefully a release date. And then another big development, guys, we might also be seeing Spyro Reignited Trilogy as this showed up in the PC Microsoft Store that typically only happens when a Game Pass drop is imminent for that said title. So guys, Game Pass is seriously heating up this summer and the rest of the year. Okay, so this is insane. We get three new games added to Game Pass Core, and man, that's exciting because these are games that are pretty good. We start this with Super Hot Mind Control Delete, the slow-mo action that has you feeling like John Wick as you pull these mind-blowing shots and stunts. Meanwhile, the enemy is extremely smart and challenging, and the game completely tests your reflexes and your on-the-fly thinking. Then our next game is Wreckfest. This is the ultimate blend of Demolition Derby Chaos and High Octane Ray 
racing. The game is not just about crossing the finish line first, it's about smashing, crashing, and outlasting your opponents in some epic battles on the racetrack with realistic soft body physics and making every collision feel intense and deep customization options that really let you personalize your rides however you like. This game offers some heart pumping fun like no other racing game. Whether you're into traditional circuit races or wacky challenges, Wreckfest kind of has something for everyone. And the best part is you get to share all that fun with your friends in the multiplayer mode if that's your thing. Now our last game on Game Pass Core is actually one of the best in Deep Rock Galactic. This is one of my personal favorite multiplayer co-op shooters where you and up to three other friends take on the roles of like these badass space dwarves and your goal in this game is to explore a vast alien world, mine resources, and battle it out with alien monsters in a procedurally generated and fully destructible planet with four unique classes to pick from, each to have their own unique skills and abilities. This game really is though all about working together with your friends trying to survive and thrive in an unknown world. This is a must play if you and your friends are looking for a thrilling co-op experience like pretty much no other. And all these Game Pass core games, all of them are coming April 23rd, these three new games. So I'm looking forward to that. Guys, we also have a host of DLC updates for some amazing games on Game Pass. Ark Survival Ascended sees the Scorch Earth update. Here you tame new creatures and there's a whole new boss and a whole new map. Conan Exiles Age of War Chapter 4 has a new hub area, a new quest and a huge update. And then Grounded Fully Yoked Edition comes with a new game mode plus. Then there's new gear and then new end queen. So we got some cool updates. And there's also a list of Xbox Game Pass perks. And now, as you guys know, the new Fallout TV series just recently launched and it's kind of brought new life into all the Fallout games, which by the way, they're all on Game Pass. I know I binged the entire TV show. It's amazing. Go watch it. I've also been playing Fallout 76 and Fallout 4, which by the way, Fallout is my favorite game franchise. So it's just something I want to throw out there. I've been really giddy lately, but there is guys a new Fallout 76 Survivor kit. So if you want to hop in uh, Fallout 76 and test that out, you get a new little kit there. I think that's cool. Elder Scrolls Online also has an anniversary pack, and I think that's pretty neat as well. And then we end with games now leaving Game Pass this April 30th. Sadly, though, there is some good games here that I'm just not like, I'm just pretty sad they're gone. So check them out before they leave Game Pass. And I have a new list of hidden addictive games on Game Pass. These are games that you've never seen before on any other list. So check out that video on the screen.